Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be doing a try hack me room called souped decode 01. So this is an attest your enumeration skills and all that fun stuff. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe and share, and let's get into it, shall we? All right, so what is this gonna do? Let's see what we got to do here. We have, a, I already booted the machine up, so I already have an IP address, and let's see what it's all about. So task number one, soup to decode, or soup decode is an intense and engaging challenge in which players must compromise a domain controller by exploiting Kobaros authentication. So that gives something away, right? We know we're gonna probably do some Kobarosing here. Navigating through SMB shares, so we probably have to use like SMB client, to get onto a machine and see what's up and get some pull some files down. Performing a password spraying and utilizing pass the hash techniques. And uh, prepare to test your skills and strategies in this. Okay, so pretty much, you know, you please wait four minutes for this to completely boot. I think it's been four minutes for me. And then we just have to capture some, ha uh, capture some flags, right, CTFs. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run Exegol info. I don't think my instant is running. Let me go ahead and check. So I did create a try hack me instance with a VPN. So all I have to do is run this. So if I do Exegol, let me go ahead, uh, start THM pat. So this is gonna start my try hack me instance with the VPN. So once this is started, I want to go ahead and start to ping it and then get cooking. So it's almost there. All right. So we are on the workspace. So let's come up and see if I can ping this IP address. Let's see the moment of truth and we're able to ping it. All right, <clears throat> cool. So let me go ahead and kill that. So the first thing we're going to do is see what ports are open. Obviously we know it's a domain controller. We can start doing some enumeration and all that fun stuff that has to do with AD, but I like to go through a little process, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and run rut scan, and then I wanna go ahead and put the IP address. So this is gonna go ahead and run a rust scan really quick. You can run nmap scan, whatever floats your boat, but this is pretty quick, all right? This is, gives me the open ports, and you can take this, put it in your notes, and go on and go on with, its, uh, with the process but we'll give this a second to let it do its thing. Real hack is hacked, uh, real hack is hack time. That's actually true. I like that because, you know, sometimes time time is uh, time is money, right? So now it's starting the scripts. All right, cool deal. Now it's coming down, discovering ports. And what you can do is take this and throw it into your notes, right? I already did this, um, so I can just copy this throw this into a note and keep going. So the next thing we can do, I wanna go ahead and just copy what I have here. And the next thing, we know it's AD, so I wanna see if this works. Okay, so I have to, I wanna run Metasploit here. So when we do, let me go ahead and change my IP address. Let me go ahead and delete this. And I wanna explain everything I'm doing here. Just give me one second. Okay, so let me make this a little smaller so I can see everything. Uh, that should be, uh, let's see if, I don't know if that's too small. Let me see, maybe like that. I think that should be good. But the first thing we're doing is running MSF console, which is Metasploit. Dash Q is for quiet, and then dash X is for execute. We're gonna execute and use scanner SMB, SMB, uh, look up SID, so the security identifiers. And then we're gonna set an R host, which is our remote host for our machine, which in this case is 10.201.102.204. And we're gonna set the SMB user to guest. And then we're gonna set password to nothing. We don't know any password. We're gonna set the threads to 10. We're gonna run it and then e exit. So we'll let this do its thing. I'll run that, hopefully it works. We'll give this a few minutes. Let me make this a little larger now. And 
this is going to go ahead and run about 4,000 trying to do 4,000 RIDs. So we'll resume this once it's done. All right, so we have, what, 4,000, something like that, right? It's like 4,000 or something, or 20, 2,168 items here. So what I did, what you can do, you can just copy everything. This is pretty much what I did. I didn't want to go ahead and copy all of this and then throw it into an Excel spreadsheet all the way down. All right, you can come here, copy this, open up Excel, paste, and then in here, make this bigger, we have different rows. So you can copy everything, just for example, copy this, and just make it a new word list, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come back over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. And here, I'm just gonna go ahead and do an LS. There's nothing in here. So I'm gonna do nano users, dot txt and then paste that here control x y enter all right so now if i do an ls i have these users so if i cat users i can see the users here all right cool just want to make sure all that's good so the next thing we can do is go ahead and run uh net exec so i want to go ahead and just do that here and i'm just going to just make some changes to my syntax because the IP has changed and I'm going to let's go ahead and put the right IP and I want to explain here what I'm doing so SM uh, net exec SMB I'm using that module against this IP address the dash U is for users and it's going to use the user.txt file and for the password it's going to look in that same file and then it's going to say no brute force and I want to grep any kind of failures right so let's go ahead and hit OK here or enter here and see what's up. See if we get anything that gives us any access. OK, cool deal. So right here on DC01, we have a username and password. So YBob317. So I want to go ahead and just take this and I'm just going to go ahead and put this in my notes. All right, let's just for notes for my sake. All right, so the next thing we can do is try to use SMB client to get onto there. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy from my notes to, whoops, that's, let's make sure we got the right IP. So it's 10.201.102.204. And then we have users, right? So, and then what the user we're gonna use is YBob, one uh three one seven okay and then the password is going to be the same so let's copy that paste it here enter all right so let's do an ls so now we are remoted into that machine right so if we go ahead and just cd whoops cd to y bob three one seven do an ls and normally, where is the flags? We can go ahead and CD to desktop, if I can spell, and then ls, and then we have this user.txt. Let's get user.txt, and then exit, and then we have user.txt, so let's user.txt, and that's flag number one. So let's go ahead and copy this come over to try hack me let's see if this flag works for the first user flag and we should be good sweet so now we are good there oh so i have uh, 696 days learning on try hack me cool 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 all right so now what we're going to do really quick which i forgot to totally do is going to add the host file or add the ip to a host file so let's go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and change the IP. And I don't remember the IP. Let me go ahead and copy this. And let me just go ahead and paste this here. All right, 
So we're just gonna echo the IP address and the domain. Uh, let me make sure that's the right domain. Um, do, 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 do. Let me just copy this just to make sure everything is good because sometimes I do type fast or I misspell things and I might as well get that correct. All right, so now let's go ahead and hit enter. And now we put that in there. So now if we ping this domain, we should be resolving the IP address. Okay, cool. So now we should be good there. So now what we can do next is try to get a TGT, ticket granting ticketing, right? So let's go ahead, I'm just, like I said, I'm just copying from my commands that I ran and I'm going to just change some stuff up here. Let me go ahead and change the IP address. 10.10, 10, uh, 10. Uh, what is my IP here? Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and try to pull a ticket from this domain with the user ybob317 uh, and then the password the same and let's see if we are good. So let me just make this a little smaller so you can see up here. So I put, I request, I put the output file to a tickets.txt so I saved it. So now if we do an ls here, we should have tickets.txt and now if we cat tickets.txt, we can see the tickets that we got, right? So we can see here, let's come up, we can see file serve, we can see firewall underscore uh, like a service account, we can see backup service, uh, let's see what other one, we can see web service, we can see monitoring service, and I think that's it. All right, cool deal. So now let's go ahead and just try to uh, crack these hashes. So let me just go ahead and paste this. So we're gonna use the tickets. We're gonna to try to crack it using the rocku.txt and hopefully we get some password and cracking one of those accounts, okay? So while that's cracking, I wanna go ahead and make a note of the um, users from TGT. I know what that means, it's just the users. So we had file underscore SVC. I think it was a uh, web underscore SVC. I'll check, I'll check again, but all right, cool deal. So we did get a password. So we got password one, two, three, bang, bang. So let's make a note of that. So password, okay, sweet. So let's come up here really quick. I just wanna see what's the tickets. So SVC, file SVC, yep, that's good. What's the next one? Firewall. Let's just make a note of this. Firewall underscore SVC. And we should be good there. And then backup, that was the other one. So backup underscore SVC. Okay, we should be good now. So now what we can do is try to authenticate to these accounts, right? So let's go ahead, clear out that. So obviously I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the first one first, and let's go ahead and just use the IP address that's given to us by TryHackMe, okay? So we're gonna use netexec again, SMB user, the file underscore SVC, since that was the first one that we captured, the password, and we're gonna to try to just view the shares. And let's see if we get any shares. So we can see that this password did work because we have this green little plus, and then we can see some of our shares, right? So with that, we can try to see what's up. We can see what else we can get into. So what looks juicy here, we have read permissions to this backup. So let's go ahead and try to get into that. And let me just change the IP address again. Uh, 102, 102.204, okay. And then let's go ahead and hit enter. And the password I wanna go ahead and use is this one right here. And hit enter, and let's do an ls. So we have this backup underscore extract dot 
text. So let's get that. And let me stop my alarm. Okay, so that is that. So now we, we pull the file down to our local machine. And now with that, we can actually check and see what is inside of that file. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do an LS. Let's go ahead and cat backups. Okay, so now we have different hashes here and we know file server probably is one of ones that will work, right? So let me go ahead and just do my copy and paste. And what we're gonna do is try to use this file server. We're gonna use that user and the hash here, right? So we're gonna try to give that a jingle and see if we can authenticate or see if it works. All right, so, whoops. Did I make a mistake here, file server? Oh, yeah, I did. I didn't change the, I didn't change the IP. That's my fault. And let me go back here. Sorry, guys. And let's go ahead and just paste that. And the reason why I'm doing this one is because the file server is the user that actually authenticated. All right, so we can see here that it did pwn it or it did, it, it, it worked, I guess you can say. All right, so the next thing we can do here is, which is pretty cool, let me go ahead and copy the next command. Well, actually, let me just hit up arrow dash s ntds. Right, NTDS, NTDS. And we can see if we can dump the um, hashes, yes, here. That's fine. And see if we can dump the hashes from that server. And we'll see, and here we go. Now we can do a control C, we don't really need to. Let's go ahead and control C. And what we needed most is the administrator hash, right? So let's copy this, throw this in our notes. And we can see here, let's make this bigger. We can see that we have the administrator and the hash here. Okay, so next thing is next. We can just paste the hash. Whoops. Let me go ahead and make this bigger. I apologize. And I'm meant to do this and change the IP address again to the IP address that is our box, okay? And see if that works. If that hash works, what we can do then is just get the flag. And I'm going to just, because I'm lazy, and I wanna show you what I just did, which I think is a pretty cool, pretty cool way. Um, 102.204, and I wanna hit enter. And this will give us the flag. So we know we can authenticate to it. So we can execute type, which is like cat in, in Windows. And then usually the uh, flags are on the desktop. So you'd go to administrator, desktop root, and you can see the flag right here. So let's copy that and hope it works for the second flag. And we can celebrate. There we go. We can celebrate. We just did it. That was a pretty fun box. It's pretty straightforward, but let me know what you think in the comments below if you guys found this easy, this walkthrough, or if you did this and you got stuck and you used this video to help you get through it. But anyway, keep learning, keep rocking, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.